What's up besties? I hope you're having an awesome day. This is going to be a shorter one uh, because uh, there wasn't really anything for me to research. It's just some commentary on a f phenomenon that keeps on happening online. Um, I thought uh, I thought I'd talk about a situation from TikTok because it just has me thinking about the nature of social media in general. Because this keeps on happening since forever and it's just annoying um if you somehow can't hear it from uh, my god-awful accent i'm polish i know people from the west uh, it seems like most of the time it's americans but i don't know if it's just because there's so many of them and they dominate the conversation or because that's is their education system is that bad when it comes to history but they have a tendency of uh, having the shittiest takes on anything World War II related. Uh, so I feel the need to uh, distance myself from that, uh, especially that when you live here, you are just surrounded by like these little reminders of the horrors that happened and you see them every day. Uh, whether uh, it's just some memorials and museums that you uh, go past, or just having the knowledge, or just having the knowledge of what was uh, happening exactly like where you are, I walked through an old ghetto at least hundreds of times. I live within an easily walkable distance to a place that used to be a death camp, but still, I, I disagree with a lot of things people online are saying, and some of the most common talking points so uh for context if you know who i'm talking about you know um i'm about to get to why i'm not showing him in a moment uh but there is this guy on tiktok um he's trans uh, apparently he's jewish uh many people call him a twink even uh, and most importantly he claims to be a reincarnation of adolf hitler <laughs> He wears his hair to the side, he wears like big uh, septum piercings, like not the regular just loops on like the spiky ones, but they're supposed to look like the little Hitler mustache. Uh, he wears uh, symbols of the Third Reich and in his TikTok he talked about his uh, support of uh, eugenics to uh, purify society. Uh, to be fair, if karma was real, this is probably what Hitler would reincarnate into, but I think we all uh, look at it with an assumption that this guy is not, in fact, Adolf Hitler. Um, uh, so there are only two logical explanations for such behaviors. Um, he's either trolling or it's a result of some mental illness or both. Um, if he's trolling, then, well, uh, one of the most well-known rules of the internet is that we don't feed the trolls. We just ignore this type of attention-seeking behavior because it's counterproductive, he doesn't deserve our attention, and I don't think uh, <laughs> acting like this should make you in any way relevant. And if he's mentally ill, especially, we just ignore it for everyone's sake. I, I never in his video said that, well, being mentally ill doesn't excuse your actions and doesn't shield you from criticism. And most people seem to agree, and he's technically right uh, on that. And I don't dislike him. He has some really cool videos. I, I don't want this to be like an attack on him as a person. I just think this approach is like wrong. <laughs> Nobody was arguing that this behavior is okay and shouldn't be criticized, uh, but it just shouldn't be given attention. Like Completely aside from the fact that it always feels like we have to walk on eggshells with people with such degrees of mental illness not to harm them. Because I guess you can argue that, oh, you just don't care about this person and, and everything bad that can happen to them is deserved and just a consequence of their own actions even if you think uh, that way it's just counterproductive uh there is no positive outcome from putting a spotlight on someone like that um for anyone you're not fighting some big evil leader uh, with a huge influence you're fighting one idiot who's also a terrible person but aside from being that 
he wasn't really harmful. He didn't have much followers aside from people who were like hate watchers. Obviously, this is ridiculous. Uh, it's ridiculous to all normal people and it's ridiculous even like to actual Nazis because they hate Jews and trans people and they don't want him either. Uh, I won't even say uh, you're not allowed to like laugh at him. This is an incredibly silly situation. Uh, but there is no need to act like that's something morally righteous and needed about it. And, and a lot of people are making it sound like that's what they're doing because in the end it doesn't matter. I think the best thing to do uh, when you're someone with a bigger platform seeing a uh, <laughs> literal Nazi is just to be like, hey guys, uh, here is a Nazi. Don't interact with them, just report their account. <laughs> Instead of trying to make a show out of this, uh, I guess the reason why it annoys me is that it makes neo Nazis look like these silly little guys who have awful beliefs uh, and are like dressing in funny ways that are ultimately power, but uh, but are ultimately powerless and harmless when in actuality there are actual dangerous people out there. We can look at the uh, spike of power grid attacks in the US that are obviously not only incredibly annoying, <laughs> but also dangerous. Like we live in a, we live in a world where we often r rely on electricity to survive. Um, all that one group made specifically to homeschool kids to become Nazis, which should not be possible. And this is why we need regulations on homeschooling. I guess why Germany has such strict regulations on that, uh, uh, you know, so that, so that dipshit parents won't just let their children out to the world without basic knowledge required to live a good life and have a career of their choice and just with a ton of hatred instead. Or maybe, you know, on the topic of Germany, you know, there's that group in Germany that was planning a coup and wanted to kidnap their health minister. Like, that's all quite recent news, like, right? These are the real dangerous people. <laughs> Hell, if you want more drama, uh, you know, we can look at Kanye or Yi, I guess, and his friends, uh, because he's actually an influential figure. Um, obviously, these are just some ideas. I don't think we should pressure... Uh, I don't think we should like put pressure on creators to talk about stuff they don't want to talk. I just really wish I just really wish uh, they were more careful about what they do talk about. Um, one thing I feared for a moment is that this guy will gain some permanent relevance from this, and we will keep on hearing about his antics. And now I don't think we will. Uh, being a Nazi is a bit extreme and easily bannable. Um, but it did spark some uncomfort in my brain when it left TikTok and got to other social media platforms. I know that TikTok is a big mainstream platform too, but things on there still feel very much like inside jokes that a lot of people who don't use it won't know. Uh, but once something is on Twitter or YouTube, it feels more serious. Uh, but this is something... Um, that that, keep on, that keeps on happening online. Uh, we find the worst people with the shittiest takes and we just give them a megaphone. It happened with that vegan teacher, for example. Uh, I guess it was happening before internet became uh, what it is now too, uh, but not to this degree. Uh, some shitty people from like reality shows or whatever never had control over their appearances. Uh, they were always on someone else's platform while now they get to just use their own profiles and if they get banned, just make new ones. And, you know, um, because that's one thing when someone who was already well known turns out to be shitty. Although that's an interesting topic as well. Like why this keeps on happening and is it because they have some hidden negative qualities from the start that make them like more likely to become famous or is fame corrupting them but what i mean here is that time and time again internet finds these obscure already visibly shitty people and just gives them attention and it does often kickstart some sort of fame for them um 
and you know negative attention is still attention uh, and in all honesty i think it might have gotten a bit better i guess uh, throughout the years um back in earlier 2010s when i was watching youtube i it was quite normal for these youtubers like d decently sized uh, with like some game footage in the background to just find some random cringy things to get mad at and they would often like target literal children <laughs> but it's some but if someone could but someone could legit become an interesting internet persona people cared about from a video of them talking about how they slept with some band members being leaked uh Oh, being friends with another disliked person and also a part of the same subculture and so accused of copying them even though they make it clear they don't see it this way. Uh, these are Polish examples, uh, but they but they are real and, and both of these people are still somewhat relevant. Uh, and they're very old. <laughs> they're like six or seven year olds, <laughs> probably. Um, not, not as people, as like their fame. But there is this whole phenomenon of people being hated so much that they get some e celeb stasis. I guess now we just care less about small bullshit like that um, after seeing all the other internet drama with a ton of people who used to be very much liked or at least uh, seen as not terrible and, you know, very famous turning out to be just vile and predatory and a disappointment and a disappointment after a disappointment just makes us a bit more desensitized just makes us a bit more desensitized to just cringe honestly i think being like politically dumb and horrible might be the way right now especially on platforms like twitter where it's quite safe now to be hateful to all sorts of different groups people use triggering glitz uh to jumpstart their account size and then actually find an audience of other radical people who agree with them. Oh, and uh, there are also uh, people who just maybe didn't get famous from being controversial but are using controversy to stay relevant. Mm. That's also annoying uh, that they're being fed exactly what they want. And obviously there is a different uh, case to make for people who aren't just hate watched by people who want to say something cringe about obviously if someone has a whole fan base like Andrew Tate or Sneeko for example even though uh, to a mentally sane person it's obvious that these guys are just huge pieces of shit we should definitely debunk whatever harmful things they say and make it obvious that they are pathetic to make it just and appealing to be a fan of theirs uh, but this is but this isn't really what we are talking about here and the case with people being mentally ill like many people assume the hitler guy was is even more complicated because in all because in all honesty while i hate that he has these beliefs i mean if he had it his way i'd, I'd probably be dead uh, i don't actually want him to get hurt and I don't think all this attention is going to snap him back to reality. It's good that his family found out so they can do what's needed, hopefully. Um, there's someone who's just on the other side of the screen. We are all powerless. In this, uh, I guess it's another way this is frustrating because we often see very mentally ill people online. And usually they're not, they're not just Nazis, like it's much easier to be uh, empathetic towards them than in this case. Um, and, and it just pains me to think that I can't do anything to help. And uh, especially when these people are in the spotlight, uh, because there are at least a f few very mentally ill people who get a lot of attention and having the knowledge that there's plenty of people who also have no power and wish they could help but many of their attempts actually end up being even worse than not saying anything uh, and on top of that there are actual malicious people like purposefully messing with them i legit saw a clip some time ago of someone telling eugenia Kuni that they think she's fat and should lose some weight 
and this is how internet is. It's not acceptable for big creators to bully innocent, vulnerable people anymore. But there still is a ton of these little nobody fuckers living in their parents' basements, just going around and acting like this. And I guess this is like a very debatable topic, like what do we do in such situ situations? But I look at it from a purely practical standpoint. Uh, if someone isn't actively causing harm and you see that they are mentally ill, we probably shouldn't try to like intervene if we don't know like some actual way of fixing the situation. Like there's no point in just making this a huge topic and making them and like pushing them to be in the public. Um, because what do we gain from this? We don't gain anything and they <laughs> can be hurt as well and they are even less likely to, you know, get back on a normal track. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that's all from me for now. I hope at least something that I've said was in any way useful or interesting to you. If you have any other thoughts or information or maybe you disagree with something that I said, uh, which is fine, like this was very subjective. I would love it if you left a comment in the comment section down below. And for now, just stay safe, uh, stay hydrated and peace.